You mentioned John already, obviously had limited opportunities last year, he's had a great pre-season, got his start this year. You must be delighted with how he's playing and, and the fact that he got the goal today. Yeah, they've all they've all put their hand up to to to, to play, you know. I've asked have been asked the question all week about Sharpie. You know, but which I which I understand and but you know does Billy does David McGoldrick deserve to be left out of the team? You know, does it need to be changed? And we felt it didn't, the front two did really well, the team performance was great. The, Last week, you know, the impact of the substitutes when they came on gave us something a little bit different. So they deserve to go again. So, you know, it's going to be, as I said, it's game two of a 38 game, game season. So we'll need everybody and they all know that. But, you know, we felt, you know, this, this it's been difficult last two years for John, you know, with Oli coming in and us you know, not playing three midfield players. And, you know, when he came in with Paul Cooch's injury and, I think you, you know. Hopefully, people have seen what what John's about um, today. Um, from from an overall, I thought by by far, you know, his, his best overall 97 minutes <laughs> performance as as it turned out to be. I don't know where that where that come from. Um, I think we need to to be a little bit more streetwise on certain things as well, which we which which we will do. Um, but as I said, it's you know great great day for great day for the players, but more importantly, from my point of view, the club as a whole. Uh, Robinson and, and Fleck, any any early thoughts on them? Were they precautionary? Yeah, John got um, got a, a, a white to his hamstring, so hopefully um, that'll be the case. And and uh, and, uh, and Cal just just tightened up, but I thought he was he was excellent as well. First off, especially you know his movement, way came. His link-up play with David McGoldrick, I thought, caused them caused them problems as well. But uh, not really wanting to single everybody anybody out. But you know, there's some, they were, they were some good performances in there. Must be delighted with the composure that your team's shown. They, they don't look overawed at all with the, with the, the stage that they're now playing on. Well, we can't be. You know, we've earned the right to play in this division. It, you know, we will hopefully grow as a team um, and, and grow into into into, into the surroundings. It's going to be. Understand, we're going to be playing. You know, no disrespect, but teams in the top six that you know are, are world-class teams um, but you know we've we've produced a performance today what's put in front of us and tried to overcome it and I thought we I thought we did that in in, in fabulous manner level on points for Man City not a bad way to start the season I don't think anybody's looking at that league table just yet uh, we're just we're just delighted that you know we've got our first win we were after we were after our first result last week and we got it in, in, in fabulous fashion with the skipper scoring and, and today was, you know, a lot of people talked about it, you know, the atmosphere and, you know, Bramall Lane back in the Premier League and, and, and whatever. But from my point of view, the message was we, we, we're here to win and uh, I'm, I'm delighted that we've done so. Special day. Special day.